in good health on the heels of what we saw happen in Las Vegas. If you or someone near you is shot, would you know what to do? Last hour, Dr. Frank Me George explained the first steps uh, to get help and apply direct pressure. Yeah, but what if that pressure isn't enough? He's back to explain what a tourniquet might be necessary, Doc. Exactly, Devin and Kimberly. You know, there was a time that people were taught not to use tourniquets because it was thought by cutting off blood flow, you risk more damage to an extremity. But many of the people shot in Las Vegas owe their survival to tourniquets. And military research in particular has shown tourniquets can save lives when they are properly applied. Soldiers carry specially made tourniquets that civilians won't have handy. But in an emergency, you might need to be creative. Here are some general principles. Anything long enough to go around the limb can work. Ideally, it should be something soft and about two inches wide so it won't cut into the skin as it's tightened. While a belt might seem logical, it may be too stiff to tighten down enough. Wrap the tourniquet around the limb at least a couple inches closer to the body, but not over the knee or elbow since those areas can't be compressed. Tie one simple knot and snug it down. Then put any elongated, long, rigid object like a stick over the knot and tie it down with another couple knots. Applying pressure is as simple as twisting the stick. Twist until the bright red bleeding stops and keep the twisted part from unraveling by holding it in place or tying it with remaining fabric. At this point, wait for help. You lay them down, you reassure them, make sure they don't move, you don't move them, you don't give them anything to eat or drink. Now, tourniquets, tourniquets, of course, have one important limitation. They can only be used on an extremity. With head, neck, or torso injuries, holding pressure is really your only option. Because the bleeding with torso injuries in particular cannot be controlled well, it is especially important to get to a hospital as quickly as possible.